Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for downloading episode 105 of We Got This with Mark and Al. I hope you'll join us on our burgeoning Facebook group. And I did use the word burgeoning because that's what it is. It's growing every day, full of people who talk about the episodes, talk to each other, suggest new topics. It's great. Join us, facebook.com slash groups slash We Got This Podcast. But now, without any further ado, here's episode 105 of We Got This with Mark and Hal. Hello, I'm Hal Lublin. And I'm Mark Gagliardi. Since the dawn of humanity, one issue has gone unsettled. With the fate of the world in the balance, we're here to settle once and for all. Pirates or Vikings? That's right. Don't worry, everyone. We got this. Podcasts should have a theme song. Podcasts should not have a theme song. Yes, they should. No, they shouldn't. They sound good. Yeah, but people are just going to skip past it. Hmm. You know what? You're right. We got this. Thank you. What is up? Wow. What an amazing ovation. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just... Please, please sit down, everyone. Yeah. Look, I appreciate the love, but I did not expect it. No, not, not at all. Uh, we are here at uh, the 2017 Pensacon. Oh, I'm very... Yeah, you're okay. right You're right up on there. We are here at the 2017 Pensacon. Yes. In Pensacola, Florida. Yes. Uh, uh, and we are here with a very important topic. Uh, this topic, which you've already heard, in our pre-roll, but our live audience may not be aware of. The uh, the topic was suggested by Tyler J. Williams on our Facebook group, uh, and the topic is pirates or Vikings. Apparently, that is, I just heard people gasp. Yeah. I did not know. There are a lot of times where something suggests, and I have no idea that people care about that as a matchup, but apparently this is a really hot topic, and we have a really hot guest here to uh, to talk about it with us. You might know him from Reno 911 or Rocco's Modern Life or the million other projects he's currently on. His name is Carlos Alasraki. Let's give it up for Carlos. <laughs> Thank you. I will be swelling my ease Ooh. and minding my ease. Yeah. He's very good with a microphone, yeah. this guy. <laughs> because you are uh, every cartoon voice on television. I'm a yeah. professional voice actor. Yes. Uh, we're not talking about voice acting today. No, Carlos. we're not. We're talking about, apparently, yeah. pirates versus Vikings. Right. Yeah. I assume it's the Pittsburgh Pirates uh-huh. versus the Minnesota Vikings yes. in a basketball game. Is yeah. that correct? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the premise of every yeah. Scooby-Doo cartoon? Yes. Like, like all movies? Like Scoob, who's going to win? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carlos, growing mm. up, did you... I'd, like nobody plays pirates versus Vikings, but no. do you ever pretend to be a pirate or pretend to be a Vikings? Like when do you remember I, those things coming into your consciousness? I think so. I think it was a Swiss Family Robinson type of stuff, mm-hmm. where, where it was or also Mutiny on the Bounty. It was Charles Lawton, the the Charles Lawton. We've beaten the sea itself. But I think at an early age, I must have gone to Disneyland and gone through Pirates of the Caribbean. So my. Oh, if I could do it on top of this. This is a visual for people not watching, but it's, this is uh, my impression of the pirate on the bridge when you go through Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World. Disney. <laughs> what you can't see right now is the leg that the is leg dangling, that is dangling, over. dangling yeah. over. I could at do it Disneyland. on the table, but it would probably fall. And they've got, and it's hair. There's like hair, There's on, hair on it. It's like the detail in that is. So it was yo ho, yo ho, a pirate. So that Careful, was we my don't have music clearances. Pirates is a, <laughs> sorry, yo ho, yo ho, pirates. Live for me, inverted music. There you go. Um, <laughs> but I think that was my first sort of intro into the, the, the glorification of pirates. So I had not yet seen the glorification of Vikings. So pirates became indelible to me first before any other Viking thing came into my life. Yeah, I think you find a, uh, find out about but pirates are are what, like you like you brought up. It's Treasure Island, and there are Treasure lots Island. of like kids. They now it's like the Veggie Tales pirates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even there, it's like weird, like young Christian pirate vegetables sailing the seas. Yes. But Vikings. <laughs> I'll be spreading here. the word <laughs> and scurvy. <laughs> Do ye have a copy of the Watchtower present? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I. There are two ways you hear about Vikings. One is history class, and two is Hagar the Horrible in the Sunday comics. Yeah. Which just seems to be like Andy Cap, but, but earlier it's Viking. history. Yeah. It's just is wives. Isn't it, aren't they the worst? Yeah, that's like worst. what we know about Vikings. Like, it's the honeymooners. It's the Viking honeymooners. Yeah. yeah. One of these days, Alice, I'll be to the moon with you. <laughs> and by to the moon, I mean stabbing you and very brutally like Vikings do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, found out uh, in the course of uh, researching this. Uh, thanks again to Kate McManus, as always, our wonderful researcher for the show. Um, that no Viking ever wore that hat with the horns. Really? Which I think is fantastic. Yeah, those were that was made up, I assume, for the Wagner's uh, ring cycle much later on, and they didn't have the braids and the you know the. I can't believe operas deceived me again. Yes. I know. I know. And the mascot at the the Minnesota Metrodome or whatever the new stadium, yeah, uh, th- that would be impractical in battle. It's like, uh, they are uh, we were, were working my sword and the head, oh, my my head is too heavy. I need a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> but there is no Viking uh, accent, really, is there? Is it is it fjordish? Yeah, Norwegian to Vikings, but nobody yeah. does that. Yeah, they're like, we're going to get on this boat. With all the rows and the oars and the dragon head, and we're going to go to another land. And the dragon head and going uh, from the foreign waters. But I think that that may have to do with the fact that it wasn't romanticized the way that uh, the were. way that pirates were by the novels, the Robert Louis Stevenson, and like all of these other pirate things. And the movies uh, later on, the I think there was it was one actor that was credited with the whole R, and then that became what pirates sound Did like. It. Uh, when most of them were uh, most likely uh, sl- free slaves trying to get their freedom or yep. Native Americans who, are, who were uh, jumping onto these ships and uh, finding freedom that way, freedom at sea. Um, Chinese as well. They mentioned uh, part of that paragraph is also Asian uh, pirates. Yeah. Which all, you know, the stereotype of, okay, we're going to come on your boat and we're going to take everything. <laughs> <laughs> to be stereotypical, I mean, yeah. if you're gonna do, if you're gonna go with the sure. R with the white yeah, guy, exactly. go all the no. way with the Asian pirate. Are they the most whitewashed group in history? Then yes, because, because we it, always think of like white guy, beard, lots of braids in it, yeah. maybe some beads. You rarely think like if I think of a non-white pirate, the person that comes to mind is Captain Phillips. Yes, and I think of like I'm the captain now. But that's what pirates were. They were. We're not talking about yes. modern pirates. In this. No, 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 and for no. For purposes no. of this, not to. I mean, not to negate what you're saying or anything. But we have we've decided this is not going to be about modern day piracy or you know stealing videos online from a torrent site. But you could kind of argue pirates. accurately that the Somalian par- pirates of, uh, of the Tom Hanks movie mm-hmm. fame are most similar to Absolutely. the actual historical pirates. Mm-hmm. The people that first sailed those seas and mm-hmm. were looking for freedom and looking for, as you said, freedom on the seas, and, and as opposed to freedom of the seas, which is a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. That's <laughs> vastly different. <laughs> yeah. I'll be waiting for you at the buffet then. <laughs> <laughs> Try the scampi. Try the scampi. Um, so let's let's delve in here. We're gonna, we're talking about real pirates, real Vikings, and mm-hmm. their uh, and which one wins. Uh, so let's start with. Uh, let's start with the good that each of these groups did, because there is good and bad in pi- in the pirate world and in the Viking world. Uh, they are frequently thought of as, you know, ruthless, uh, rape and pillage villages kind of, uh, groups, but there is good that was done specifically on the Viking side, uh, their seamanship and their boats. The, the Viking ships were, unsurpassed in the world. I mean, uh, Leif Erikson, famous Viking, got to the United States 500 years before Christopher Columbus did. Right. Um, in like, uh, right, right around the year 1000. I know, I was going backwards. I was like, 1492. 1492. 1942. Got here in 1942. Good everybody. math. Good math. During yeah. World War II. <laughs> they collected rubber and tires for his voyage. So, but are we saying the good thing is that the uh, the Vikings helped sort of revolutionize, or at least uh, they they made uh, prevalency out of out of naval uh, voyages? Because a white guy coming to America early and doing terrible like I, you're right. No, 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 no. It's not a good. It's not a necessarily a great thing that they showed. But they're up with shit. They're craftsmanship. Yes. But what they did do was uh, keep trade going. Like uh, sure. ancient Phoenicians sort of started mm-hmm. that moving along. Like let's get the whole world involved in trading with each other, and that was a big step that the Vikings took. The Vikings were also uh, way uh, way shorter time frame. They were only about eight hundred to a thousand. It was like two hundred years where they spread out over the entire world. That is that is overachieving. Yes. Um, also, uh, commensurate with that time, and I read in a Southwest magazine that the whole thing has to do with space travel. Apparently, before Columbus as well, the Chinese naval ships were the greatest navy in the world, and they would explore and bring trade all over the world, and for some, their ships were vast and ornate, and just, they were super fantastic at navigation, and for some reason, 
they gave that up. They just let them rot and said, no, we're not going to explore anymore. And then it got taken over by Vikings mm-hmm. or simultaneously and then guys like Columbus. So they were in the mix as well. So as, as that thing had said historically, African American pirates and Asian pirates, but who gets the credit in, in, even when we talk about ancient pirates, or I mean, ancient Vikings, we still think white Nordic. That's yeah. just indelible in let, our head. Let me ask you something, though. You read this in a Southwest Airlines yes. magazine. <laughs> it's and got to be true. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm saying not. it's fake, I, but I, it's let, fake airplane news. <laughs> uh, alternative travel reporting. Never trust Southwest. Uh, do you, uh, I always find that even when there's a good article there, it's always pushing something. What do you remember? Were they, was it just like, come visit Shanghai? By the way, here's this ancient fact that we know about Shanghai, and here are nine right. steakhouses you can visit. I can guess it might have been pushing Apple products because what it did say is that similar to when the Chinese abandoned their space travel, they would have been so far ahead in terms of sea travel and exploration and development of the world. Uh, they liken, they made that comparison to the United States abandoning NASA and what we did with Apollo. We just abandoned it, but we don't realize how much technology, like your cell phone technology came out of the first Apollo mission. So that's what they were referring to, that had this civilization continued with exploration by now and had we continued with the the work that we had done on, on Apollo, we would have got beyond what they call the gravity wall. We would have found life on moon already. Elon Musk would have had a hotel on Jupiter. <laughs> you know, that's what they were saying. But we, like the Chinese Navy, Navy, we gave that up in the 60s for something else. And so that's what they were making the comparison to. Oh, okay. But I think they were pushing Apple products and iPads and stuff. It has end. to be. Yeah, they're always pushing something like that. And then there's the old guy who's impossibly muscular. Yes. The Senate oh, yeah. guy. Genetics, genetics. Get jacked like this dude. Yeah, I don't want to look like I like I want to be a soft old guy. Yeah, I don't want to look like a guy that I wouldn't want to run into. Yes, yeah, I'm, my goal when I'm old is to hit the buffets, grow a beard, and play Santa Claus yeah. for like thirty years. As opposed to like, <laughs> yeah, curling with on it. Well, I'm welcome. World, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> Five, <laughs> six. Hold on, really? You want a bike? A bicycle is weak. I also yeah. love that uh, the idea that um, Southwest Airlines has a Shanghai run. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure their motto is you "Now feel free to move about the country, nowhere else." Because we're Southwest Airlines, we don't go very far, you guys. Yeah, but I did read that, and then I, it was it was on Southwest. Yeah. Tr- I don't know. I believe you. Along but, with, um, let's talk about. Uh, here's another uh, another good thing that the Vikings did was okay. Norse mythology. <laughs> Sounds like a category on no, Steve good Harvey on the uh, good did. things the Vikings did. <laughs> Show me made pillows. <laughs> made, made pillows. <laughs> the fur coat. Um, but the, but they're like you can't really. Uh, there's no equivalent with pirates. That there was no like they didn't yeah. create an entire collection of gods and myths that have, still live on today. I mean, we know we talk about Valhalla. We know Thor and uh, Marvels has used uh, yes. Valhalla and all of this as as a whole. You know, this create those characters. Viking gods to, to create. Yes. Characters, yeah, they, yeah, they and it is synonymous do. with courage. If you watch the recent European Cup in soccer, uh, the Icelandic Viking cheer, oh, where thousands of people, it became like a, like a YouTube sensation, mm-hmm. and has carried over and into the Minnesota Viking crowd. So, yeah, the lore of the Vikings is much greater than the lore uh, in terms of contribution than pirates. We we usually associate them with scurvy. <laughs> talking, talking birds and Davy Jones locker. Yeah. The Vikings might have contributed to civilization, but do they have Davy Jones locker? By the way, uh, <laughs> if you're listening at home, you have to drink every time we do that fake pirate yeah. voice. <laughs> yeah. You have to drink every time. Um, and additionally, Vikings, uh, were, uh, were pretty woke. They, uh, they had no problem with women as, uh, Viking warriors on their ships. Nice. Yeah, they were right. very, they were like, look, if you can wield a sword and, uh, fight, jump on in. You're part of the team. So it was, yeah. uh, it was very much a merit based, uh, a merit based society. Many of them were literate and, uh, their social status came from, um, or was outwardly manifested in the armor that they wore. So they were, they were tough. Whereas a pirate's 
social status was how fancy the clothes he stole were. Yes. Well, for Vikings, it was how much clothing. It wasn't like I have the nicest armor. It's I have was, a complete set of armor. Yeah, I yeah. have a helmet and breastplate and leg guards and <laughs> yeah. shin, My whatever. My chest set has two rooks, <laughs> two knights per side. Yes. Yours is just like six pawns. I have more fur than Don King. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> in, in many ways, Lawrence Welk was a modern Viking That's of right. music. <laughs> Um, Look out there, there. They gave us the word berserk. Uh, oh, oh wow. that's right. Because the way that when they would go into battle, they would go berserking. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, berserker gong. Berserker gong. Uh, which is going berserk. Uh, and would take uh, a lot of hallucinogenic mushrooms or alcohol and then go into battle. Oh, so they were the original juggalos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's good to know. I'm yes. just a juggalo and yeah. everywhere I go. <laughs> How could we forget that classic Viking cheer? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> they would drink their Fago ale and go into battle with one another. Who let those dogs out? <laughs> Magnets. <laughs> how did they work? Bork, 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 bork. Sorry. <laughs> mixing I up like Sweden that. and Norway. Uh, were they only Norse? Were there ever any Vikings? Like they, they're defined by being. They were defined from, as from being Norway. from Norway, but then they spread throughout the world, uh, including. Uh, I don't know how to pr- uh <laughs> I can't wait for this. All right, his name is spelled C N U T the Great Knut. Knut, yeah. Uh who was the first Viking king of England. Uh there were a couple oh, of Viking wow. kings of England between 1016 and 1066 when William the Conqueror took over uh in the Battle of Hastings. Ah. Uh so have we exhausted the good that Vikings did? Oh also that's a pretty great history channel show. Fur coats open up travel, world trade. The Mm -hmm. NFC North has a team Team called called the Minnesota Minnesota Vikings. Vikings. That's a pretty good football team. Berserk is a lot of good. Yeah. Like the idea of going Going berserk. berserk. You know, but as a comedian or performer, like the crowd went berserk. Yeah. It means they liked it. Yeah. But like I, you know, I came home and I forgot oh, the cinnamon rolls. My wife went berserk, which means she liked it. <laughs> she didn't like she it. She didn't like she it. She had it on like the it. list. She there really it should it only be one definition for berserk. Yeah, then. it should be. Yeah, this is a market. <laughs> it should not be interchangeable. <laughs> um, all right, so let's let's talk about uh, the good that pirates did. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, modern democracy came from the pirate ships. Did you know this? You guys, you this, told this, me this yeah. at Subway. Uh, no, that, I was not that, aware. Uh, pirate captains were elected. Uh, they weren't. It wasn't uh, with no know, hacking force. from the Russians. With yeah. no <laughs> Russian hacking. Yeah. yeah, I got three million more pirate votes. Yeah. <laughs> I want it known. I want to. I want to see the pirates giving their speeches. Like, if you elect me, <laughs> I promise that we'll have mead in all the water fountains and candy <laughs> whenever you want it, and we'll pump rock and roll music through the galley. He's not telling the truth. He's not telling. Ah, silence. <laughs> <laughs> um. What else is? What else do we know that is good that pirates did? I'm, I guess they affected the outcome of many. Uh, wars. they were apparently mm-hmm. good at sword play, so proper yeah. sword or, and or fencing techniques could have come from pirates. Yeah. They were good at uh that thing where you jump to do a big piece of cloth and use your sword to slow yeah. your fall. Uh-huh. Feels like a uniquely pirate thing to do. Like you can't come up with good things that a group yeah. of of sea marauding did. terrible monsters. They're did. just cool. They yeah. were so good at delaying death because they didn't just have you jump <laughs> off the side. You'll be walking the plank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always that like as a kid, I always thought that walking the plank was like, that's not a punishment. I love the high dive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, the high dive into the pool is awesome. But then I guess the ocean doesn't have – you can't just swim to the ladder and get back out. Yes. When you're done, you're like, that was really fun. Okay, I want to get out of the water now. When you're tired, There are sharks here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more – I think what this is going to boil down to, and we should continue to, to break this down, is are pirates cooler – is the coolness of a pirate – uh, better than the contributions that Vikings have made to society as a whole. Because I get the modern democracy. That's mm, yeah. great. I have a feeling we're going to be fishing real hard to come up with other good pirate things other than, oh, they killed a bunch of people and made it hard for ships to travel yeah. freely among the, the, the Indi, the South Indies or, or, you know, wherever it was. And today it's like, te- you're, even on a cruise boat, you're, we're, we're, as of this recording, we're going on the Joko cruise in a couple of weeks. Yeah. There could be pirates. There could be pirates. We they're don't very, know. Yeah. We very well could get boarded by pirates. And, and it's not going to be fanciful. Be like, I, were you the ones that picked Vikings over <laughs> us? 
Oh, no, we swear. That'd yeah. be Mark Gagliardi. Oh, it was Carlos. <laughs> He's not on the boat right now. Mark. Oh. Mark. Oh. Mark. Boo. Um, <laughs> all right. So it, it, I guess the question is, if it's just – Pirates or Vikings? Mm -hmm. That's such an open question. Is it, are pirates better than Vikings? Are pirates cooler than Vikings? Are Vikings it's, more, you know what I mean? What question are we answering? Yeah, who would it's win in a Jack fight? Jack Sparrow versus Thor, like you had said before. Like, oh, yeah. oh, let's yeah. talk about that battle. I mean, Sparrow, Sparrow is uh, so cool and is like, so nonchalant and is, uh, he's likable, but he's a drunk. I mean, think if you can be likable and be a drunk at the same time. That makes you better than the, the Helmsworth guy that's handsome and never drunk. <laughs> I think there's something powerful about being a happy drunk. And yeah. mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. He constantly cheats death. He does. And Je is willing to battle with the undead. Yes. For a profit. For profit. Hey, look, for profit. I, I don't know, though, guys. I, I feel like, and it's the same thing with the Avengers for me, where it's like, Every, yeah, uh, uh, sure. You can have a battle between this person, and this person. One of them is a human, and one of them is a god from another planet. Yeah, like that's not a fair fight. And Loki is also a bad Viking, right? Right. Yeah. Although, are they Vikings? They're more gods. Like they're not. Well, no, but it's Viking-ish. Yeah. yeah, they're the they're the models of, of the Viking. Uh, my favorite Viking uh, from all of culture. Hagar the horrible. No, not Hagar the horrible. Although we should talk for a second about a sketch you wrote when we were at Second that's City. That's right. This was 12 years ago now. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Hagar the Horrible. We would come out and read them as if we were Shakespearean actors yeah. performing. We would do – it was, the, it was the, yeah, it was uh, the Royal Shakespeare yeah. Company presents this week in Hagar the Horrible. So it was like, <laughs> Helga, bring me my helmet. Uh, <laughs> but my, my favorite pop culture Viking is from the that uh, bad 80s uh, dating video montage. Uh, if you've not seen it, go look it up on YouTube. Look at, look at it exactly like – look for it exactly like that. And there's a guy who it looks like the the nerdiest, scrawniest bean counter wearing giant glasses. Uh, but other than that, he's dressed as a Viking. <laughs> and he's nerd chosen. Viking. Nerd Viking, sure. <laughs> yeah, and that's like how he's chosen to attract a mate. Like his peacocking is, I'm going to get on my vest Viking wear. I'm going to put on my horned helmet. <laughs> and he's like, hi, my name is Chad. It's just the oddest. But he's like real. he doesn't seem to ashamed at all. He's just like, this is me. This is me. Get down with it or not. <laughs> that's a that's a really cool Viking right um, there. Now is John Cleese as Tim the Enchanter and Holy Grail? Is he Vikingish? He's, well, he's, he's a more He's a wizard. Yeah, he's more of like a uh, an English wizard. Because the, both pirate and Viking talk sort of segued into Scottish. You had Liam Neeson. Rob Roy was, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of Celtish. It's mm. kind of all blends together. Yeah, sort of that yeah. area of the world. You're like, oh, that's a lot of fierce white people in fur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to ask you guys a question. Just total sidebar that has absolutely nothing to do with this. But you mentioned peacocking, and that was this guy's peacocking move uh -huh. was to dress like a Viking. What was, uh, none of us are single, uh, uh single people, uh, correct? I'm locked in. There you go. I um, left my ring at home, but I'm glad because what if I'd lost it here? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, in thing. your single days, what was your what was your go to peacocking move? Was I would say was it a shirt that you had? Was it a? <sighs> I, I didn't have a move. I was a stand up comedy. My go to move was like here, have some more drinks. <laughs> 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 that was my go to move. Uh, well, it worked. You look. You, yeah. you held up your hand with the ring on it. Yeah. yeah. I got one. Snag me one right off the boat. I did. <laughs> right off the boat from Jersey. But I imagine I, that was a proper Viking or pirate uh, uh, courtship move. Uh, I yeah. just give them drinks. Just load them up with the rum. There. You mentioned the technique of uh, neg. Was it called? Oh yeah, I brought this up at a panel last night. Negging. Negging. Because it's a terrible thing. I would not yeah. do that. My no, my no. peacocking move was to avoid eye contact and stay at home. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, that I brought up as like a terrible thing that you would do. Yeah. That feels like a pirate move. Negging. Oh, Neg yeah. someone to just insult For them. For those who don't know, negging favorite. is, uh, insulting a person of the opposite sex with the hope that they will go, oh, they're right about me. I should date them so they can fix me. Like this yeah. is a terrible, mm -hmm. terrible way to date. Yeah. Work with Melania. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did we, oh, we failed to mention that we have, there's a fourth person on this panel. He yeah. keeps chiming in. Yeah. We cannot keep him quiet. It's a fake Mr. Panel. President, please. It's a fake panel. <laughs> Wait, how do we not talk about the Viking funeral? That's Ooh. maybe the cool, like, 
Everybody who talks about how they want to be disposed of, I want, I want to be disposed cremated. Of. Well, no, once you, once you pass away, what, yeah. what did, how to dispose of your remains? Mm-hmm. Do you put them? Are they interred in the ground in a in a in a coffin? Do you get yourself cremated and your ashes spread somewhere that's really dear to you, or? Do you get put on a float in the water and have them fire flaming arrows at you? That's oh. pretty awesome. So that your last act is being like the pyrotechnics at a rat concert. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the modern equivalent of the Viking funeral would be like if you got your best friend in the world to put you in a helicopter – on the ground that's just like got the thing spinning slowly, do a trail of gasoline leading away from it, and then drop a match oh, on it while he walks yeah. away, and it blows up behind him, and he never turns around and looks. <laughs> or like the guy that dies in the phone booth in uh, The Birds. You're at Mardi Gras, and you're super drunk, and you spill your hurricane, and it goes spilling down the street, and a guy tosses a cigarette, <laughs> lights the hurricane on fire, and you're on the float, and the whole float goes up with you. There you go. <laughs> All That's Viking the accidental fire. Viking. Yeah, the funeral. accidental... <laughs> Do you guys remember the accidental Viking tourist that won James <laughs> yeah. Davis, that Oscar? Yes. Really great I did, movie. I do remember that. How obscure will my references get tonight? Who knows? Uh, that's, a, that's, like a, that's like a cool Viking thing. Because a lot of the pirate stuff is going to be cool. Like Jack Sparrow's cool. Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean are cool. The VeggieTales Four pirates is are sure. cool to someone. But Four I will say cool. uh, the Viking ride at Disney World uh, in the Norway Pavilion – not as good as the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but still pretty good. And I'm really upset that they got rid of it and made it into a dang Frozen ride. Oh, they oh, did. Oh, the modern <laughs> Pirates. Could you imagine if Pirates just showed – because Frozen is Norway. If Pirates just showed up in Arendelle, <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> uh, Let it go, my God. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be building the snowman from now on. From here on out. <laughs> oh, no. Irish Vikings. <laughs> Anna <laughs> slept with your boyfriend. Anna <laughs> slept with your boyfriend, Elsa. <laughs> you brought up the sports teams earlier. Yeah, yeah, I did. The the Vikings have not been around for as long as the Pirates have been around since the 19th century. They were a very early team mm-hmm. uh, in Major League Baseball. Which mm-hmm. means that they, the fact that they named them that means Pirates have been cool that long. In in, the, in America, yeah, because yeah. there were there were less uh, uh, Nordic. Mm-hmm. Immigrants at that time. Mm-hmm. And they all sort of gathered in Minnesota, which is why the Vikings are the team of choice there. Yeah. Uh, so if you're, if you were comparing it by the sports teams, I'd have to go with the Pirates, who I think have more championships. I don't think that the, the Minnesota Vikings have, Vikings have uh, been to four Super Bowls and lost. Yeah. So they don't have any NFL won. titles, but you do have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who did win one year, right? Did yes, they win did. one year? 2008. That would be the, 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 the closer Buccaneers or the Raiders is. who I think have won four Super Bowls. Yeah. The Raiders and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Have you been to Buccaneer Day in Tampa, Florida? I hear it gets pretty crazy. I was there performing at a comedy club and they have Buccaneer. They didn't have Viking Day in Tampa. Right. They had Buccaneer Day. What is that? You just dress up as a pirate and get free stuff? Free stuff, and there's apparently a lot of groping and drinking go- going on at Buccaneer Day. This is what I hear. <laughs> this is what I hear. But yeah, I, yeah. In terms of sports teams, the the titles would go with again the pirate culture versus the Viking culture. Yeah. And Raider fans are way more. Um, uh, there's more lore surrounding Oakland Raider fans than there are Vi- Viking fans. Like it's Minnesota. Yeah, we like our Vikes, but we're lovable losers. The Raiders are like, we will kill you. <laughs> yeah, I look. I'm from Philadelphia, which is a heinous like. We get mad, and it's not the safest place to be if you don't root for our team. Yeah. I would never set foot in an Oakland Raiders game. The black hole. Never in a hole. Yeah, that is, that seems like it's full of juggalos. Like for one, yeah, for four hours we're gonna empty a prison into the stadium, yeah. and then we'll just put them back this on is a their bus. rest time. Yeah, like I've heard sensible people tell me horrifically lewd stories involving them, and not even pride. Just like here's what happened. <laughs> and I, I, I cannot even repeat it on this family podcast, but it's like, well, that's just part of being a Raiders fan. No, it's no, not. That should not be it a part of being be. any team fan. No. The, fan, the only thing that should be a part of being a fan is getting with your buddies, eating some nachos, and watching your team and going, hey, you won, or boo, you lost. That's yeah. it. No, the tailgating preceding a game sort of changes the whole equation, you know. And it, that would be an interesting experiment. Make it, maybe it could be born out of this very podcast. What if we switched and said for one season it has to be the Oakland Vikings and the Minnesota Raiders? What would that do to the fan base? 
Oh I'm, not, I'm not going. I'm not. <laughs> if we no. can't be the Raiders, I'm not going. That's who we are. People are. Like, oh, geez, that'd be nice to wear black. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. <laughs> now, do the, now, do the, the, do the do the teams switch cities, and the fans also have to go? Like, if you're in we like know. Oakland, California is awesome. It's a great town. San Francisco. They're like, oh no, no, you have to go to Minnesota where it's super cold for the whole winter. Yeah, but you do have a brand new stadium, and the beer there is really good. That's mm. true. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. What do you do? We could. He's got a hand up over there. I uh, do. You, Las Vegas. Yeah. That's right. I heard that the Raiders might move to Las Vegas. Yeah. So. Talk about being raped and pillaged. Perfect right. place. Yeah. <laughs> My money's gone. It'd be the one armed bandit pirates that took your money. <laughs> the dealer pirates. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but as far as, uh, so Vikings are, we, we look at strength and honor. That's what we sort yeah. of, mm-hmm. they seem but to be a- pirates are like you pirate video content and stuff. Like that's stealing. Pirating is wrong. It would be like rats versus raccoons. Oh, raccoons are cute and big and nice and friendly. Rats are evil. Yeah. When they basically yeah. do the same they do thing. The same thing. They One both just does it at night and has weird human hands. Yeah. So Vikings would be the raccoons in this equation. <laughs> oh. And pirates would be the rats. You guys, I saw a video last night. Oh no. Of three girls who had a rat in their house, and it just said, "We figured out a way to get the rat out." So they're in the upstairs bathroom. One of them is standing on the toilet with a broom. And they're like, I think she's fat. And she, she's like, Oh my God. And she sweeps it, the rat with her broom to her roommate who has, who has walled off the rest of the hallway and sweeps it down the stairs. It barrel rolls down the stairs, gets to the bottom and then tries to scurry into the house. A third broom appears from out of nowhere and swats it out the wow. front door. What is, what is this Qu- Rube Goldberg it's, yeah. approach to? It's uh, Rube Goldberg meets Quidditch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a with a Go with a sous-sol of get sorcerer's apprentice. Get him, yeah. I expel the armist, you stupid rat. <laughs> Oh. Um, we, uh, we really, we, it, we need to figure this out, guys. Is there, is there anything that we have missed in, I mean, pirates are cooler, we've decided. Vikings were more beneficial to society. Yes. Um, so I guess, does it come down to, is it better to be cool or beneficial to society? And are we looking at this through the long view of history where yes. you don't want to look too closely at either group because mm. they've done terrible things. Yeah. yeah. They may not be the best people. But, you know, which, which one survives and thrives today? And I, I know Thor is a popular character. I just don't think of him as a Viking. He's Viking adjacent to me. Yeah. Yes. He's who the Vikings prayed to. Viking. Yeah. He's like a Viking cheerleader. And is it a heightism, if there is such a thing? Is it, do we revere Vikings more because they appear to be bigger and taller and pirates you think are Jack Sparrowish and kind of seedy and swarthy looking? You know, again, the rat mm-hmm. versus raccoon. Is that, yeah. does that enter into it? What about if the pirates were taller? And blonde, had blonde hair in folklore. And it was the reverse. Yeah. Again, it's switching, you know, the context. It's not about what they did. It's about what they look like. It's not fair yeah. is what I'm saying. No, I, I agree with you. Look, yeah. tall and blonde frequently wins. Yes. Yeah. If I, we could hybrid a pirate Viking. Ooh. A, a new generation. A Viking. A Viking. <laughs> The bird would have a voice like this. They had to make a tail, no tails. <laughs> and tried the bath worst. I think if you're going to talk about size and you want to talk about a, a huge, Let's like, hairy size. creature. <laughs> I have the biggest creatures, believe me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it's about a giant, hairy, hairy creature versus, like, a seedy, smaller guy, yeah. that's Chewbacca and Han Solo. You're right. Oh, so, wow. And Han Ooh. beats Chewie. Han yeah, Chewie, I mean, right in the paper rock the scissors pirate. of Star Wars. But Chewie old Chewie pirate. braver? Chewie's braver. No. Did you see him Force Awakens? He got hit in the arm and would not shut up about it. <laughs> He's got like the equivalent of the rebel school nurse. He's like, you're being very brave. <laughs> <laughs> like, when did he, when did he go from the guy who would, who would rip your arms off if, if he lost a, 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 a hollow, ch- whatever the, I don't That's the one that. I was referring yeah. to, that guy. Yeah, that guy, or if you try to put restraints on him and he doesn't know you, he's gonna rip your arms off. But if he gets nicked, yeah. On the side of his yeah. arm, he is out for six to nine months. Yeah. <laughs> Indefinitely. He's on the d- DL. <laughs> How many Vikings were like that? Where they were like, I would go out, but I got a cut on my knee, <laughs> so I have to stay in because I don't want it to get infected. Yes. Hey, was Conan the, the barbarian? Was that Viking adjacent or was that the, the predate both of them? Aren't barbarians kind of like land Vikings? And Visigoths. We were talking about. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Visigoths and Vikings. Well, all. Vikings were kind of land Vikings because they didn't right. battle at sea. That's how they, they got there. They used their boats to get to shore, and then right. they attacked on land. So that, like, in that sense, pirates were way more Cirque du Soleil. The balance that it required, like you said, to oh, cut yeah. the cloth on the yeah. sail and swing out, land perfectly on a rocking ship. Sword yeah. play on on an imbalanced, you know. In fact, Cirque du Soleil at one point had in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade a pirate ship as the apparatus on which all of the acrobats swung. So Cirque du Soleil went pirates where, versus us, who are probably leaning more towards Vikings. So yeah. we are anti Cirque du Soleil, is what we're I saying. I think the, the the what what we can take out of this episode is if it really comes down to we got this versus Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Is what we're, is what we're asking. Yes. <laughs> well, Treasure Island in Vegas, speaking of the Raiders moving to Vegas and Treasure Island used to have that pirate show. Yeah. There is no Viking show. Like you said, they, they took the Viking thing out of Disney World. Well, in pop culture, pirates have won. They have, have won. clearly won in pop culture. Yeah. Um, but is the romantic note, does the romantic notion of a pirate beat the actual notion of, of Viking? And I would argue that it does not. I feel, I feel like Vikings are going to take the, uh, Take the win here. See, and yeah. I'm I'm uh, I'm of the view that it's pirates because that's all we see. That's what people dress up as. That's what's been. Yeah. That's what's enriched our culture to a certain degree. So I think it's I think it's ultimately pirates because we are taking that long view. So Carlos, that means as our guest, it's up to you to make this decision. Listen, I have two kids. One is five, and one's three and a half. And because I am experienced at taking them trick-or-treating and seeing trick-or-treaters at my door, I would have to say the vast majority are pirates. And therefore, I'm going to say pirates. Well, all right. There we have it. Well, then it, it comes to me, uh, for those of you who are new Premature. to the show. <laughs> Premature. Premature <laughs> applause. Uh, we end every show by, with me saying, people of the world, we've taken you around the world today. We've taken you to the to the South Pacific Seas and we've taken you to Norway and England for 50 years. You can sort of hear the animals off in the background. The sound of the sea as it whips through your hair. And although historically there are two probably terrible groups of people, it's hard to argue that Vikings have not contributed more to the development of culture in some way. However, when it comes to culture, pirates are all over it. They are everywhere. I, I I have a goal in my life of going to uh, I think it's Shanghai Disneyland. I heard their Pirates of the Caribbean is awesome. Every time I go to Disneyland, I am a I'm a proud annual pass holder. One of the rides I must go on is Pirates of the Caribbean. Fun fact about that ride, you're going backwards in time. Think about that next time you go on it. I don't know how close any of you live to Disney. We're in Pensacola right now. You probably live close. Go there. You'll see that I'm right. And you'll also see that we're right that in Pirates versus Vikings the winners are pirates asked and answered. All right. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you to our special guest, Carlos Alas Rocky. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Hal. Carlos, Carlos, where can people find you? At Carlos Alas Rocky Twitter. You can hear me Wednesday mornings on the Stephanie Miller show. If you lean that way on freespeech.org. Fantastic. Uh, that it leads me to, to say that this, this topic is solved, but there's so many more we have left to solve. And we want to hear from you and get those topics from you. So you can email us at wegotthispodcast at gmail.com or go to our vibrant, ever-growing Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash we got this podcast where people come to discuss. If you like what you heard here today, you can come there and say it. If you didn't like what you heard here today, you can go there and say it. Uh, I'll love you either way. And – also, you can reach out to us on Twitter at We Got This Tweets or check out the Maximum Fun subreddit. A flame war is probably happening right now. Thanks as always to our musicians, Mike Furman and Jonathan Dinerstein, for our theme song and score, respectively. And of course, thank you to you, our listeners, and by proxy, you listeners in this room right here in front of us that we can look at and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, thank you to producer Ken Plume, to graphic designer Uri Kelman, our researcher Kate McManus, who did a great job digging up the info on this one, and QA engineer Jen Alba. For Mark Gagliardi, I'm Hal Lublin. For Hal Lublin, I'm Mark Gagliardi. And don't worry, everyone. We, we got, got this. this. We got this. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Thank you. That was fun.
The Dead Pilot Society podcast brings you hilarious comedy pilots that were never made, featuring actors like Aubrey Plaza, Andy Richter, Paul F. Tompkins, John Hodgman, Adam Scott, Molly Shannon, Busy Phillips, Tom Lennon, Anna Camp, Laurie Metcalf, Felicia Day, Michael Ian Black, Adam Savage, Paul Shear, Ben Schwartz, Skylar Aston, Mae Whitman, Josh Molina, Ben Feldman, Nicole Byer, Jason Ritter, Sarah Chalk, Steve Agee, Jane Levy, Allison Tolman, Danielle Nicolette, Casey Wilson, Anna Ortiz, Lorraine Newman, June Diane Raphael, Kieran Chipka, Ed Week, Zach Knight, and Carrie Kenny Silver, John Ross Bowie, Jamie Denbo, Janet Varney, Alexander Torsen, Summer, Ellen Morales, Matt Gordon, and many more. Listen at MaximumFun.org, iTunes, or wherever you download podcasts. My name is Patrick. My name is Ariel. My name is Joe Coughlin. The first time I uh, went to MaxFunCon, I didn't know anyone. I was really uh, nervous about that. Everyone said not to worry about going alone, that I'd make friends right away, that I'd have an amazing time. It turns out everyone was right. I instantly had 200 new friends. I've made lifelong friends at MaxFunCon that I'm going to keep in touch with for the rest of my life. If you aren't sure if you belong at MaxFunCon, you belong. Don't be like me. Don't waste two years being too nervous. Just go already. Join Ariel, Patrick, and Joe at MaxFunCon. Tickets for MaxFunCon and MaxFunCon East are on sale now at MaxFunCon.com. MaximumFun.org Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.